how many times have you seen something like this happening? Have you ever seen kiters in trouble and you can see they don't have any idea what they are supposed to do? Maybe you also have been in one of those situations. Are we able to help? Maybe we are able to help, but what if they end up again in the same situation and this time no one around who knows what to do? Why most of the kite surfers don't know how to safely handle their kite surfing sessions? After seeing kiters having these kind of problems where they are putting themselves and others around them in danger, I often hear other kiters around shouting at them that they should take a kite lesson. But maybe they already took many hours of kite surf lesson. They are even able to jump and do kite loops. They will definitely not want to go for lessons for basic safety in kite surfing. And does every kite surfing instructor teach their students everything about basics and safety? Unfortunately, this is not the case. I know many kite surfing instructors who think that teaching students how to self-rescue, how to recover the chicken loop, or how to self-land their kite and so on is the waste of time. They don't want to bother their students with these boring things. Unfortunately, there are also many kite surfing instructors who themselves don't know everything about basics and safety in kite surfing. Actually, I was one of them. My name is Petar Pavlovich, and now my goal and priority is to teach kiters everything about basics and safety in kite surfing. I'm sure there are also lots of other kite surfing instructors doing their best to teach their students everything about basics and safety, but I realize that no matter how well we teach, our students can easily forget about basics and safety in kite surfing especially people that are able to kitesurf just during their holidays, once in a while. And what we can tell them, where to remind themselves about basics and safety without pushing them to take lessons again. For the last three years this was bothering me a lot and I was trying to find a solution to this problem. I have been searching on the internet where to find clear and correct information about everything on kitesurfing. The only solution I had was that actually I do something about it. I have invested a lot of time and money in this project. I'm so thankful to all the people who have been financially supporting me over my Patreon and for those who are still supporting me. Thank you so much, it means a lot. Until now I believe I covered everything every kite surfer should know to be safe during his session. And I designed a poster with queer codes which I want to use for my kite surf center. So whenever I see someone on the water or on the beach with a lack of knowledge, I can easily help and direct them where to inform themselves of what they should do next time they find themselves in tricky situations. Those episodes are already helping me and my students during my lessons. After each day of taking a kite lesson, students are able to watch the episode of what we did to get a better picture of why it is important to know those things. It is also a good platform for independent riders coming to rent equipment if they don't know how to perform self-rescue or they don't have experience with an inverted kite for instance. Or even for students before their next kite lesson to get ready for a topic. And of course for anyone who already knows all those things but needs a good reminder. Over my Patreon account this is completely for free of charge. You are able to download this poster for your own use or even kite center if you have one. The goal is to make kitesurfing a safer sport and accessible to more people by spreading the correct information about basics and safety to all the kitesurfers around the world. If you like my work, please keep on sharing my tutorials. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next episode.